Hello, my name is Daniel Frommer. I'm the business developer for our radar products at DSpace. And we are here at the European Microwave Week at booth 150. And what you see here is our uh, exhibition of the end of line testing for radar targets and for radars. And um, on the left side, you can see the radar detection that we have inside of our chamber. You can see that we're detect detecting a target at 60 meters with 50 kilometers per hour and uh, with a magnitude of minus 78 dB. And on the right side, you can see what we are simulating. So we can see that we have adjusted to the parameters of the radar and we are simulating this exact uh, target at 50 kilometers per hour, 60 meters and uh, around about 17 dBSM. So this right here is our DART's target simulator 9040G. Um, it's connected to the chamber and inside of the chamber we have a very special setup which was developed together with a partner of us, Nofts Technologies. Um, Nofts is building the chamber and the robot and DSpace is integrating the right radar target simulator uh, and making the measurements at HF uh, level. So what we have here is now the inside of the chamber and for demonstrational purposes we have opened it now here and what you can see inside is uh, on the one side the feed antenna that is sending the wave to the reflector. On the top of the chamber we have the reflector which is then of course reflecting the waves down to the radar and by the parabolic design of the reflector we will get some uh, yeah, planar wave, wave fronts that we would not have if we would operate in that distance usually. So we have a quiet zone where we can place the radar with the robotic arm on the bottom of the chamber and NOFT is doing the integration here for us and DSpace is providing the test equipment that is integrated in the chamber. It's really easy to make some production line, end of line testing with the KTR reflector chamber um, at a lower space and with less effort for calibration and the whole production.